In this section, we will see how an optimal ship design influences energy conservation. A well-designed new ship can save as much as 50% of operational costs when compared to an older ship. As much as 30% of this can be saved through fuel saving. Possible improvements are better cargo handling and capacity, better hull shape and bow design, better propeller and propulsion system, better ship automation and crewing, Exact figures for a ship modification must be obtained from a shipyard. The actual cost is calculated from the initial investment, interest rates and amortization or life expectancy time. Generally speaking, ships on regular routes will last longer than ships on irregular chartering and in an unstable financial situation. If the ship has to be sold within the amortizing period, one has to estimate how the modifications will affect the price of the ship. Adding several improvements is done by multiplying the gain percentage for each one of them. Here is an example. This means that a 25% fuel saving can be achieved with these two improvements. Energy conservation requires an initial investment. How lucrative this will be depends very much on the type of cargo being transported, the ship's life expectancy, interest rates, fuel prices, etc. As a general rule, fuel consumption represents about 20% of the total cost of running a commercial cargo vessel. The shape of the hull is decisive for the ship's water resistance and therefore for the fuel consumption. A long and slim ship will offer less resistance than a short and beamy one. The shape of the bow and the stern also has an influence on the fuel consumption. For years, the advantage of a bulb bow has been common knowledge. Later studies show that this is also valid for smaller vessels.